Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Abby. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about an addition to my sunscreen collection. I discovered this at a Sainsbury's near my workplace. And this is another Nivea sunscreen product. I did originally do a video on the Nivea, I think, anti, anti something, what is it called? Anti shine sunscreen um SPF 50 sunscreen it's really really affordable um I did mention in the video that because obviously the product um because the product is fragrance and I don't like the Nivea fragrance <laughs> it just kind of bothered me a bit but apart from that it's a really really great sunscreen and it's extremely affordable so randomly I was just in the aisle and I discovered this product so this is the Nivea Sun UV Phase Soothing Sensitive Caring Formula SPF 50 and you would not believe it this is actually fragrance free um, I've never seen this and I don't know why I've missed it I know why I've missed it it's not stocked in my local Sainsbury's and I don't think I've ever seen it at any other Sainsbury's I've been to um, so I think yeah it's just one of those products that's just not stocked everywhere and I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen it at my Super Drug either or my boots. So it's one of those, I don't know, I guess unicorns. You kind of, you know, catch it if you see it and buy it because this isn't affordable. This isn't available everywhere. But this particular product, like I said, is SPF 15. And the, get, the great thing about it is that it's fragrance free for those who don't love the fragrance in the original formula. And this actually is targeted towards sensitive skin, hence the name Soothing Sensitive. It says it's light and non-greasy and because it said it was light and non-greasy, I thought it was worth the try. Because um, well, unlike the other Nivea sunscreen, it doesn't say that it's anti-shine or anything like that, but it does say it's light and non-greasy. So at the most it won't be super super shiny so um i'll just read off the back i think the majority of what we need to know really is on here we know it's spf 50 we know it's uva and uvb protection so that's broad protection broad broad spectrum protection and yeah so on the cover on the back on the side it says especially made for your delicate facial skin um says immediate and ultra spectrum protection protects against premature skin aging does not clog pores and skin compatibility dermatologically approved um it says this highly effective sunscreen with ultra spectrum protection provides against uv and uvb um induced skin damage as well as from high energy visible light and um, blue light so yes i forgot about this added benefit the other sunscreen also has that and it says high energy visible light effects such as premature skin aging this caring formula with antioxidant is unperfumed and has been developed with sensitive skin in mind protecting you against sun induced irritations it is light and does not clog pores leaves the light leaves the non greasy skin feeling making it ideal for everyday use does not sting eyes and ophthalmologically approved so that is the key thing about the Nivea sunscreens that I like because they've actually been proven to be safe to use around the eyes and if you know anything about most chemical sunscreens um, some of them have this reputation about you know stinging around the eyes or not necessarily stinging on application but if they do manage to get into your eyes at some point during the day it's a nightmare so this has been ophthalm ophthalmologically approved so basically it's been tested around the eyes and it's been approved to not sting so that is really really good you get um i believe it's 50 ml of product yeah so you get 50 ml of product again because it's a um a face sunscreen i'm not surprised at that but i just i get really annoyed because it's just such a small package like I would run through this in like no time. The price is affordable, so I guess I could always buy it again. Um, I think it was six pounds, yeah, so it's six pounds just like the other sunscreen. So it is affordable, but then is it really affordable when you only get 50 ml and you use a certain amount every single time you apply your sunscreen and you're truly, truly, truly expected to apply your sunscreen several times a day? I mean, you would literally run through this. If you went by the book, you would run through this in a week or less 
probably um so yeah so there's that but apart from the 50 mls of product this is a really really good sunscreen i've been using it for a while this is actually a second pack um my other pack is in my drawer and i can't be bothered to get up so i just got the new one but this one um i really really like it it's one of those uh sunscreens that's not matte matte and it's not straight up greasy so it's a nice amount of dew like when i say dew don't get scared because if you have oily skin and you're watching this you think oh no, that's off the list it's worth trying because it's not greasy and it's not shiny it's more like once you've just applied moisturizer to your face and in the winter you can probably just use this rather than your moisturizer and as somebody who has well, genetically I don't know how else to say genetically oily skin right now some of my face is dry because I use tretinoin but if I wasn't on tretinoin at all my face will go back to being its normal oily self I mean in the t-zone so um, I still be able to use this that's the point I'm trying to make so it's not one of those um, you know dewy sunscreens that you can use if you love dewy like a dewy finish no it's like a natural finish like you've just moisturized your face but it's not greasy at all it's really really good for um all skin types really um yeah you can even even if you've got like super dry skin i think this will still be fine for you it's just not overly oily so i feel like it would benefit most skin types unless you've got like really 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 dry skin and you really want something that's like dewy and i don't know it's got a bit more oil to it then this might not be right for you but the best thing about this is it doesn't have that awful nivea scent which i just don't like um yeah if it could stand to be a bit more matte so if they had I don't know why they just can't I mean if you can do the matte formula why can't you just do a matte formula that's fragrance free because <laughs> this is slightly more shiny than the matte the non what do you call it the non is it non sticky oil controlling whatever the, the other option is I'll put the name up on the screen at some point yeah in comparison to the other sunscreen this is slightly more shiny but that's probably it it's not shiny shiny that you still wouldn't be able to use it if you have oily skin and it wouldn't get in the way of your makeup either um I'm, i have this i have this on my under my um like on top of my skincare under my makeup and my face like barely gets shiny although it is winter right now and i haven't been like right actually to be today i have been running around like crazy um my nose got slightly shiny but that was it like the rest of my face is just as is um so yeah it doesn't affect the application of your makeup it applies really really nicely it blends in immediately and i just love the application it's a really really good formula and i love 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 the fact that i can just freely apply it around my eyes without any issue i think that's probably one of the best things about this sunscreen and the other one as well um yeah so that's what i love could stand to be in a bigger package um but if i ever catch this on discount i'll definitely buy multiples of it because this is like one of those top top sunscreens for me the only thing that lets it down is the amount you get for the money you pay but it is an affordable amount i guess for just for what it is it kind of is affordable because it's only six pounds but the packaging could be bigger and then i would pay more like if i can get this in a like 150 ml bottle it would be great and i'd pay whatever equivalent i need to pay but yeah without rambling too much i'll definitely approve and i would definitely suggest you get this um if you have if you're sainsbury's or anywhere else like superdrug boots sells this or your pharmacy or whoever get it or at least try and see if you can get it online as well um it's really worth the worth the try and it's a lovely lovely texture lovely formula applies easily and it is light and non-greasy like it promises haven't noticed any breakouts with it as well um i can't you know test against the claim of you know blue light filtration or anything like that but i can just you know trust that it's doing what it's supposed to do and again um as i always say in my sunscreen videos especially what you want to do is avoid the sun obviously we're in the winter right now so you're probably not going to get much sun if you're in the uk but anywhere else around the world if you do have access to the sunscreen you definitely want to avoid the sun during the hours of 10 and 2 they they usually say i say they you know the powers that be and um just make sure you do you take other precautions as well you know use your shades use your hat if you have a hat 
you know walk on a shady side of the road of the street or wherever you are and don't lay out in the sun all day thinking your sunscreen is going to do all the work like that is not going to help you at all um and also frequently reapply if you're going to be out in the sun out and about or in the water so i think if you can kind of keep on top of a lot of that or at least apply a good base at first anyway and see if even if you don't have time for any of those other things apply a good base and you know just try your best to keep out of the sun you know you're well on your way to avoiding uh, skin damage and everything else that comes with it so anyway I really really like this I would suggest you get it if you can find it um, yeah so that's probably another con the fact that it's not available everywhere but definitely check online and see if you have if you um, I'll see if I can find some links to it and I'll put it in my description box and I'll see if I have it on Amazon as well actually I've never thought to check on Amazon actually no I have checked on Amazon and I couldn't find it but if I find it I will leave links to where you can get it um, in my description box so check that out and also check out other sunscreens in the playlist and the other sunscreen from the Nivea brand that I already um, reviewed as well so yeah without further ado that is it uh, thank you for watching if you found this useful please do like this video comment down below um, if you've tried this if you found it anywhere and what you think about it if you have tried it um, and let me know um, any others if let me know of any other sunscreens that you found that are really affordable that you'd like me to try as well because I do have quite a lot I need to get through I still have others in my collection that I still I use and I need to make videos about but I'll definitely add it to the list because I want this whole sunscreen you know um, review collection of videos to just you know be as um, broad as possible across like the whole um, drugstore collection or at least any affordable sunscreen out there i definitely want um to cover so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like this video and share with your friends and what else hit the notification bell <laughs> so you don't miss when i next upload until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will catch you in my next video